And as expected, uh, we have uh, reached a, a loss of uh, telemetry as we enter this uh, brief blackout period. Uh, at the time of the blackout, uh, the flight dynamics officer reported uh, that all of Orion's systems uh, looked perfect. This is uh, the point in time uh, where Orion uh, would be uh, experiencing its peak heating of some uh, 4,000 degrees Fahrenheit as it barrels uh, through the Earth's atmosphere, traveling uh, about 20,000 miles an hour, some 84% of the velocity of a spacecraft returning from the moon. We're four minutes away from the uh, jettison of the forward bay cover at the very top of the spacecraft that will begin uh, the chute deployment sequence. And we've uh, reacquired uh, signal from Orion, good data being processed. This view from the Icana uh, unpiloted airborne uh, vehicle over the Pacific Ocean, over the splashdown zone. Time to splashdown, seven minutes. Range to splashdown, 127 miles. And now this view from Orion, its thrusters uh, maintaining control. Flight Dynamics Officer reports that we're tracking right down the middle. G-Force is building up on Orion, now almost to 3 Gs, a predicted G-Force load of some 8 to 8.3 Gs expected. And uh, the uh, Global Positioning System satellites have a good lock on Orion as it uh, heads toward its splashdown target. We're two and a half minutes away from forward bay cover jettison, and this view again from the Icana aircraft over the splashdown zone. Orion at 125,000 feet. Healthy thruster system reported by the propulsion officer here in Mission Control. Passing through 80,000 feet. Range to splash down about five miles. passing through 60,000 feet. Orion has gone subsonic. Standing by for forward bay covered jettison. Thirty five thousand feet. That view of Orion from the Akana.
25,000 feet. Time to splash down, less than four minutes. Forward bay cover has been deployed. Drogues have been deployed. Great video from the Akana. Fifteen thousand feet until splashdown. Coming up on main shoot deploy. From a waypoint over the Pacific Ocean, there is your new spacecraft, America. Drogues away. Main chute deploy. On mains, everything looking good. Good reefing reported. Four thousand feet. Three good main shoots reported uh, from the USS Anchorage. That's confirmed here in mission control. From a high speed rate of uh, twenty thousand miles an hour to a gentle return back to Earth, more than four hours and 20 minutes after it took off on a Delta IV heavy rocket from the Cape Canaveral Air Force Station. Thirty-two hundred feet now until splashdown. Twenty two hundred feet now. Winds uh, at the surface uh, just about twelve knots. Wave heights uh, no more than about four and a half feet or so. Perfect conditions for Orion's homecoming. This view uh, from Orion itself uh, of the chutes, helping it uh, to descend gently towards uh, its splashdown in the Pacific. 1,000 feet. Just a few hundred feet until splashdown. One hundred feet. We have splashdown. Splashdown confirmed at 10.29 a.m. Central Time. 
Orion is back on Earth. America has driven a golden spike as it crosses a bridge into the future.